So you want to learn you some Ruby? Well, you've come to the right place because we'll show you a free book you can download on how to learn Ruby programming, both for beginners and intermediates. We speak to the book's author, Hugh Collingborn, who has over two decades of experience as a programmer. He shares with us the secret behind being a great coder of any language. It turns out being brilliant is not just about clever coding, which is good because it allows people like me to feel smart. This is how to become dot TV. What do you want to be when you grow up? And my approach in, in teaching Ruby is different from some other people's. Uh, and some people, I mean, you know, be quite open with you. Some Ruby programmers hate the way that I teach. Uh, there, I'll give you an example as to why. When when I teach, I I, I try to I try to emphasise what I consider as a professional developer, what I consider to be the really, really, really important things. And there are things like keeping your code maintainable, uh, keeping it modular so that everything is wrapped up and, and clean coding. I can, Kate, you, hey, can you please learn how to code cleanly? I can't understand your work here. <sighs> PC guys. What I don't emphasize are things like the naming of variables, where you put an underscore in a variable, or a particular point of disagreement, which, which generated quite a lot of, of quite um, a vigorous dis debate between myself and some other Ruby programmers. I happen to like using full space indents. That's what I use all the time because I program in Visual Studio and it's absolutely standard when you're doing C sharp or whatever. I use full space indents. Now, some Ruby programmers horrified by that because they think that we must be too space indented. Two space indents. Four space indents. It makes no difference to the way that the program runs. If you like two space indents, I'm happy to, for you to use two space indents. I happen to like four space indents. Not a problem. I mean, it seems to me something that is not worth arguing about. What is worth arguing about is keeping your code clear, keeping it maintainable, um, owning your code. I mean, one of the problems with a lot of um, people who come up through the open source community, if you like, is that while many people get used to, to contributing a quick fix, a quick hack, a quick uh, clever piece of code, they often don't have the long-term involvement in that project to make sure that their code is really maintainable, has no side effects on somebody else's code, um, retains compatibility with all sorts of other programs that might form part of a project. Now, you, now you're trying to suck up. Now you're trying to suck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Right, I've got three courses on Udemy. I've got two that are aimed at beginners. One is the Ruby beginners course, and one is the C-sharp beginners course. Both of those take a similar approach, and it's very much what I've talked about already, that I pr provide a whole load of, sh of short sample programs that people can load up and start using right away, but then they should try and change them. You know, I'm not saying that my programs are what you want to use. They're there for you to try out, to understand, but then modify. The courses both come with either a, a complete book, as in the the, um, the, the Beginner's Ruby course has the, a, a version, a, the latest version of the Little Book of Ruby. This is the course text. And I've also got course notes in the C Sharp course. Now, they should be used as background reading. In Udemy, I encourage people, first of all, to look at the videos. Each lesson comes with usually two videos, but sometimes more videos, to explain the theme of that lesson. So watch the videos, then load up the, the source code, because each lesson comes with its own source code, which matches the code I described in the videos. Try it out. See how it works. See what the results are. See what the problems are. If there's something you don't understand, then read the course notes or the course ebook. And then comes the really important thing, do it yourself. Change my program. Try to write your own program. If my program does something that you don't like, maybe I've done a, a database for keeping CDs and you want a database for keeping names and addresses and phone numbers, you're going to have to change my program. Well, that's when the real learning starts. In my view, all the most important and the most valuable programming learning is when you do it yourself. It's when I've finished speaking, when you've turned off the video, when I've finished what I've written, you've put my book away, now you get on that keyboard and you do it yourself. And that's when you really learn uh, what, what, is, what works in the program and what the problems are. You have to make your own mistakes. 
I can guide you, but fundamentally, you have to do it yourself. And that's the most important thing in all of programming. I mean, that's the real, real secret of learning to program, is don't get caught up in the theory. Don't keep your nose in a book all the time. Get on that keyboard. Get programming. Make the mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. And just don't worry about it. Keep at it. This is how to become dot TV.